Hello guys and welcome to the first player review of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. This year we're starting off with an absolute bang new icon to FIFA 22 and that is Wayne the Pain Rooney. Base icon card. I cannot wait to review this man. And yes, it's only the second day of FIFA. And yes, I have bought FIFA points before you all say. And we did get lucky. But I have sold literally everything, everything I own in the club, apart from this team, to get this card. So he looks absolutely insane. Obviously, he's going for a bomb at the moment. He's going for 650,000 coins straight at the beginning of the game. He's got medium, medium work rate. He's right footed, three star skills, and a four star weak foot. And obviously, he's five foot nine. He looks more suited to a cam um, or a centre forward type role than a striker. But obviously, at the beginning of the game, it don't really matter, lads. It doesn't really matter. 83 pace, I am not concerned about because I guarantee he will be absolutely fantastic in the pace department. Let's get on into his attributes and he's got some really nice stats across the board. Obviously not the most mind blowing because it is only his base card. But he has got 84 acceleration, 82 sprint speed and if you stick a hunter on him that gets boosted up to 92 and 90. His shooting category is absolutely stacked as well with 90 shot power, 88 long shots, 87 volleys, 88 penalties and obviously 85 finishing and 88 attack positioning. Passing stats as well, really good. Looks like he's going to be a really good creative player and again, and again, adding to my argument of him being better suited to a camp. But we're going to play him at strike anyway. Um, his dribbling stats, pretty decent. Obviously, a jelly and balance could be a bit higher. They're both 82 and as well, he's dribbling at 83. But he's got really nice reactions, ball control and composure there. He's got really good heading at 85 and he has got the jump into match of 82. His stamina is 85. His strength is 86 and his aggression is 85. So hopefully he's going to be a bit of a tank. He reminds me of a, the base John Barnes card a bit. Um, obviously, he's, this card's probably going to be better than John Barnes. But he does look and remind me of that John Barnes card. He does have leadership and outside the foot tree. And there is this icon profile for you. Now, I cannot wait to try this man. He's a new icon to FIFA, but we have had various... Really good cards in previous years. Obviously, we had the end of the era last year. But this year, he's back as an icon form. And we're going to try him out right at the start of FIFA. So, I cannot wait to get into this review. Let's get on into the clips right now and see if he's worth that massive price tag of 650,000 coins right now. So, here we go, guys and girls. First team, he has got a long Cooley Barley at centre-back, so it could be a tough opposition, but the rest of his team is pretty bang average, as you would assume from the start of FIFA. Well, let's see if Rooney can score some bangers for us. He already wins the ball high up the pitch. Can we get the ball into Martial? No, we can't, but great aggressive play there to win the ball high up the pitch. The ball wasn't good. I probably should have took a shot, to be honest. We find Rooney, good shot, good attempt, it was a tight angle, but he did get the shot off. Look at the power on that shot as well. But unfortunately, it didn't go in the back of the net, and I didn't really expect him to from that sort of angle and position. And obviously he was on the turn as well, but decent attempt. He does intercept the ball here though, very nice. Rooney finds space. Oh, he has a good left-footed attempt, but again, great city by the keeper. We should be on level terms here, to be fair, and that was an absolute shite corner. So, half-time, and we are getting beat 1-0. We've had a couple of good chances, and we just can't get it in the back of the net, to be honest. Rooney, with a couple of good attempts on goal. He's playing okay. I think my problem is, I'm still learning the mechanics, obviously. And this is just an excuse, because I should be better in this kid compared to his team. But... I am learning the mechanics and also formation. I don't think this 4-4-2 four, four, is a good formation to be playing, to be quite honest. Um, what guy, what formation are you guys playing is what I was meant to ask. Because uh, I still don't know what's a decent formation on this game. Uh, but we're going to bring on Carrasco for some extra pace, take off Grealish and hopefully we can get down that wing a bit more because Grealish has been getting caught up on that left wing. We find space with Rooney, come on! We break the deadlock, and what a goal it was. Look at that close control from Wayne. What a finish as well on his left peg. 
and most of his shots have been on his left foot. He seems to predominantly take them, I don't know why, on his left foot, but that one flies into the back of the net and finally we get past the keeper. What a lovely goal. The close control then was fantastic. Oh, lovely turn inside. They defend against them, but we bundle it into the net. That was lucky, lads. That was lucky, but I mean, did we deserve it? Probably we do, probably we do, but it was lucky, I've got to, got to give that. But Rooney gets on the score sheet for the second time in this game. Martial absolutely skins him. Can we play a perfect ball? We do manage to get there. Oh, referee, get him off, you dirty bugger. Whoa, I've seen people put in prison for a less ref. Can we get a goal with Wayne Rooney? Probably not, because he's got someone on the line. Can we think it's a Rooney? We can! Rooney! Oh my god, that was nearly his hat trick. He should have done better, to be honest. One on one with the goalkeeper, but it was a nice volley. Keeper does get a touch on it. Martial on the edge, volley. Ooh, I can't believe he didn't get his hat trick there. Really can't. Rooney makes a decent run. Can he get on the end of it? Yes, he can. Oh, for God's sake. How's he managed to do that? It was Cooley Barley, to be fair. Rooney's injured, but we have a shot on the edge and it flies over the bar. Oh. Rooney finds space. Come on, a cross goal. There it is. He does get his hat trick in the first game. And again, left footed goal. What is it with Rooney's left foot? Absolutely brilliant. Does feel really good that left foot. I know it is for Starlight, but it does feel really OP. We can find him. And again, we get fouled. How many times is it going to take down Rooney? Now, this is the first penalty of FIFA 22. And we do manage to score with Rooney. And there's his fourth goal of the game. And that's probably going to finish this match off. With his KO, his famous celebration there. And wow, what a first game. What a first game. He has impressed me. Can we make it five? Yes, we can. And as simple as that, Rooney's left peg again. The coming up trumps. His left foot, five star. It basically is five star. I think every shot he's had has been on his left foot. Well, what can I say? First game, he's picking up the match ball. Five goals and five decent goals as well, apart from that um, very lucky one. But 12 attempts, five goals, picks up the match ball. Absolutely brilliant performance in his first game. Really enjoyed him. His close control is really good. Obviously, four-star skills will make this card a bit better. His pace isn't the best, but it certainly isn't the worst. I mean, this guy did have Cooley Barley at centre-back. Um, in the first half, he did counteract Rooney quite a lot, but in the second half, Rooney did manage to pull away and get five goals in one half. So absolutely brilliant performance in the first game of FIFA. Made up with him so far. Let's go on into the next one and see if he can do the same because consistency is key. So here we go into match number two and the team is a bit better, I'd say, than the first one. Fingers crossed we can get more goals. My dog has just opened the door behind me and walked in because she is a German Shepherd and she is very, very clever. Do you want to say hello? Hello. Come here, darling. Come here. Say hello. Here she is. Here she is. Right. Bye. I need to start playing. We're reviewing Rooney here, Nala. Let's go. Nice one to play. Jack Grealish to Rooney. We find Rooney. Can he score? No, he can't. I was being a bit greedy there. Probably could have scored with another player. But I tried to get it to Rooney. The angle got too tight. There was too many defenders in the way. And unfortunately, we couldn't get the goal. But it was good play. Nice one-two link-up play. And a decent attempt, to be honest. But no goal on that occasion. He made a run. I think he's offside, is he? He's not, he does score. Wow, I was confused then, because he did look offside, but it was a, a really good run, 
and a really good finish as well at the end of that attack. Brilliant goal by Wayne Rooney. I really thought he was offside there. Into Rooney. Nice one to play. There's his second of the day. And he scored two already in the first half of this second game. Brilliant play. Sends the goalkeeper the completely wrong way. Nice tidy little finish. But you expect him to score them, don't you? So we go into our time. 3 0 up. We've had a better start in this one than the last game. Two from Wayne Rooney. And then we had a corner just before half time there. And David Sanchez edited it into the net. But great first half. Great first half performance by Rooney. He's really impressed me. He's strong. He's powerful. Okay, his pace isn't the greatest. I've got to be honest, it isn't the greatest. He doesn't get away from it all the time. But, I mean, once he's away, it's going in the back of the net. When he's outside the box, it's going in the back of the net. He is an out-and-out -out finisher. Absolutely brilliant, and I'm really enjoying him so far. Let's get on into the second half of this game. Nice play from Rooney. Can he find space? Yes, he can. Finesse and there's the hat trick in this one. He scored five in the last one. Just after half time, he's got his hat trick in this one. Wow, he has been pretty amazing, hasn't he? Lovely interception by Martial. We find Rooney. Come on, it's got to be four, and of course it is four. Every time this man gets through, the ball is going in the back of the net. And what a run that was. Even though he's got medium, medium work rates, the tap positioning came in clutch there, and he was in the right place at the right time, and it found the space, and then the finish was brilliant as usual. Pick that out! Pick that out. That is Wayne Rooney-esque. What a bloody goal, lads. What a goal. Outside the box. Finesse your dreams into that top bin. Oh, my God. This man is ridiculous. He is absolutely ridiculous. Pick that out. Nice play, Rooney on the edge. He cuts back in. We get a lucky deflection off the keeper and he does bundle it into the back of the net yet again. I can't even keep count how many goals this guy's had. I think it's six in this game and five in the last. Absolutely ridiculous. All I can say though, obviously guys, it is the start of FIFA. I am playing okay teams. I mean, nothing spectacular. He did have a better opponent as in centre-back last game. Because um, he did have Cooley Barley, the last guy. But obviously, in a couple of weeks' time, he probably won't be as effective as he is now, obviously. Uh, but he might, may be cheaper, so he might be still worth it. But I would say the pace is a bit of a letdown. Obviously, he isn't the fastest in the world. He does feel quite agile on the ball. His aggression is really good, so he does win the ball high up the pitch from time to time and gets attacks started. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I am really enjoying the card. He is fun, but I think in, I'd say, two, three months' time, you're probably going to have to play him as a cam, not as a striker, because he'll be too slow. Oh, what a ball. What a ball out of his feet there. We find him lingering on the edge. Defender gets in the way. But that pass was sensational. Just proving his playmaking ability. And again, I think he, would, he is really suited to a cam, isn't he? But at striker, he's doing the business for me, obviously, at the start of FIFA. But I think in a couple of months' time, as I said, he probably is going to be more of a central, centre-mid cam sort of player. But we finish this one. He's going to pick up the match ball. And he's going to definitely have a few boozers tonight. He's going to be celebrating this victory and his six goals. So, Colleen, better watch out because you know this man plays away from home quite a lot, doesn't he? But let's get into my overall thoughts and opinions of this base icon, Wayne Rooney card. So, my overall thoughts and opinions of this Wayne Rooney card. Well, I mean, his record speaks for itself, doesn't it? Two games, 11 goals. That is absolutely crazy. He didn't get any assists. But his passing was a really, really big part of this card. His passing is really, really good. And as I said, he probably is suited more to a cam spot. 
But a striker, obviously at the start of FIFA, he played really well. Um, obviously, we did come against some average, average teams. Nothing major, but he did have Kuli Bali in the first game to come up against, and he did score five goals. So, I think that's pretty decent. All in all, really love the card. Medium, medium work rate. It is good for a cam. Not so good for a striker, but I think his attack position, he did cancel that out from time to time as he made some decent runs and he was always in the right place. Um, his pace, as I said a couple of times in the review, he wasn't obviously lightning quick, but at the start of the game, it doesn't really matter, but it is more suited to a cam spot, as I've said a couple of times. His shooting is ridiculous. Left foot, right foot, header, volley, don't matter. If he's in the box or outside the box, it's going in the back of the net because... He is a fantastic, fantastic striker. His finishing ability is second to none. And obviously, so far, he's the best striker I've used, the best attacking player I've used, the best player I've used. Um, so currently, uh, he ranks top of the players that I've used on the game. Obviously, I've only played with this team. His passing stats, again, absolutely crazy. He is suited to a cam, and his passing stats do show that. And his passing was sensational in game. Long passing, switching the play, through balls, all sorts of one two play. He has it all. He has it all. His dribbling, I found, was really, really good. Agility and balance, to be honest, didn't bother me. Didn't bother me at all. Uh, he felt very agile on the ball, could turn very quickly. And yeah, I think his dribbling was pretty decent. Didn't have any problems. He didn't actually score a header for me, but I think it's not the best because he is five foot nine. Stamina's great, strength's great, and overall he was a brilliant card. All in all, if I had to rate Wayne Rooney out of ten, it'd probably be about an eight. Um, he does have a couple of things. I know, yes, he did get eleven goals in two games. That's ridiculous, but he does have a couple of things. As I said, the pace isn't the greatest. But for a cam spot, I think he'll be good. Realistically, I believe he'll probably be really good until probably around January, February time. And then he'll probably be just a cheap icon and not very usable anymore. Uh, because of all the good cards we'll have by then. But at the moment, until that time, he's going to be absolutely amazing. As you've seen, he can score some quality goals. And he was absolutely brilliant. I did, did enjoy this card. I'm so glad I got to try him out for you guys. So, if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel because we will be bashing out the reviews this year. As many as we possibly can. As well as other stuff like squad builders and your pack openings from time to time. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you do, smash the like button. And again, if you are new around here, please do subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.